Hey there, welcome back. Well, there's a lot of new people getting into Home Assistant now. And I thought what I'd do today is give you a little bit of a rundown of a basic setup that I would recommend. Something that's going to set you up and allow you to grow with Home Assistant and build up a super powerful system at the end of the day. So I've set a budget of $500 for this project. So we're going to talk about what hardware you can use to run Home Assistant on. Then we're going to talk about what Zigbee coordinator you can start with. We're going to talk about some relays for controlling lights. We're going to talk about some basic sensors, door and window sensors, temperature, humidity sensors, and some DIY present sensors. And then we're going to have a look at installing a local camera as well. So just to be upfront with you, as always, Many of the products that we're gonna to discuss today have been given to me by the suppliers, but this is not a sponsored video and they have no control over what I'm about to say today. So I installed Home Assistant on a mini PC about six months ago and it has been absolutely rock solid ever since. You could start off with a Raspberry Pi or a Home Assistant Green, but I've got a very simple and easy installation video of how to install it on a mini PC like this, and it will offer you a lot of growth in the future because it's got that extra power and huge dependability. This one is going for 165 New Zealand dollars, so that's probably about $85 us um, next up i recommend setting up a zigbee network this is going to give you option to have lots of local sensors connected easily into your network these sonoff dongles this is the new version the mg24 these are really cost effective and they offer you a great network and we are going to boost this network by using some zigbee smart plugs as well um, next up, when it comes to light switches, you've got two options. You can either go for smart switches or you can stick with your existing switches and install relays behind them. Honestly, most of my switches, I'm using relays behind the switches. It's a cost effective way of going and it means that you have all your existing light switches in place. So the Sonoff offers some really good options. Here's a two um, switch version or a two gang version, and this is at $12.90. It's always great to monitor your doors to see when people are coming and going, and you can also use this to create a security system within your home assistant. Sonoff has got some really good ones over here at $14.90, and these ones are powered by a CR2477, which is not a very common battery, but then you're looking at providing five years of battery life with this product. Next up, temperature and humidity. I found these really cool Xiaomi sensors. Um, they are often different prices, but you can normally get them around five US dollars each. These do communicate via Bluetooth, but I've got a video, I'll link in the description below, showing how you can use a Bluetooth proxy with Home Assistant using an ESP32 and easily connect these to your Home Assistant. Next up, I'm going to be creating a video soon on showing you how to use the LD2410 or 2450. This is a millimeter wave sensor that we can pair up with an ESP32 and create our own DIY presence sensors. There's lots of presence sensors out on the market, but they are quite expensive. So if you want to create some DIY ones, this is a really easy way to go. Next up, really important to connect or to protect your home, bathrooms and kitchens from water spillages or water leaks. Um, these water leak sensors from Third Reality, I really like the Third Reality stuff. They work on AAA batteries, so easy to replace and they are Zigbee based, so they communicate very easily with Home Assistant. Um, next up, IKEA. This is the old version of the IKEA switches. Now these are Zigbee based. Um, this is $9 NZ, so probably about $6 USA. Um, these are really easy to use little buttons. Once again, they work on AA batteries. Really nice to have a couple of smart switches in your buildup, which you can use to trigger automations or turn lights on and off and things like that. I definitely recommend getting a few of these. Finally, I would start with at least one camera in your collection. 
I've been using Reolink for many, many years. I really like that they are fully integrated into Home Assistant. You can put a SD card in here, will record to the SD card, and it will connect via Wi-Fi into your Home Assistant network. Now, I did forget one really important component as well, smart plugs, especially one with energy metering. So uh, Third Reality does a set of four of these for $35. These are really great, Zigbee controlled, and basically these will strengthen your Zigbee network, and they'll also allow you to control all sorts of devices around your home. So in summary, we have our mini PC at 85, a Zigbee radio 35, two door sensors $30 eight relays for lights at 104 two temperature humidities at $10 um, two DIY millimeter wave presence sensors at 20 four smart plugs at 35 two leak sensors at $30 two smart buttons at 10 and we can actually get away with two security cameras really great to have a front and a back garden and that's at $130 so that works out to just under $500 so please let me know in the comments what you think of this list of devices and what you might change or add or remove or if you spent a thousand dollars what would be the extras that you would add on Hope you've enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed it. I think it gives you a really good start, gives you some sensors to play with, some control devices, and you can really build and grow from here. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.